If you put in one box all the civilizations that were patriarchal, a period of the Chinese civilization, Sumer, Babylon, Greeks, the Romans, from the Renaissance on us, Western civilization, they all have the same money system. They not have the same form of money, but they have the same system. Their system is a monopoly, a single currency, issued centrally, controlled centrally, hierarchically, with interest. So that feature is actually a device to concentrate resources at the top. Given that interest is a mechanism that automatically transfers resources from the people who need to borrow to people who have more than they need immediately. So it's a service for concentrating resources at the top and therefore totally consistent with the patriarchal society, which is typically run by a big boss. Whether it was the emperor, the king, or, or the pope. Uh, that system is still in that function today. We still have a centralized currency in every country with a single currency being tolerated and uh, with interest. Now, if you put in another box, all the metrifocal societies that have developed sophistication enough to, uh, to get to a, a monetary system, because many of them never bothered to get there, <laughs> uh, but those that have developed to that stage, historically, uh, always had a multiple currency environment. You had one currency that was doing exactly what the patriarchal society does, i.e. it was even using the currencies of the patriarchal society neighbors in the neighborhood to trade with people you don't know, people long distance. And they had a second system, bottom up, exactly the opposite, where it don't have interest. In fact, the more sophisticated forms have demerage, you have negative interest, a penalty or on accumulating the currency, a parking fee on money, if you want. And that would actually reduce that currency to a pure medium of exchange. Nobody has an interest in accumulating it. And as it would be issued from the bottom up by the people who would be using it, it had a totally different dynamic. So this dual currency system is what I think we need for our future. I also think that the values incorporated in matrifocal societies, i.e. a caring relationship with other humans and with nature, is going to be a precondition if our species wants to survive on this planet. I think the time has come to learn from our history.